us. Yes. Yes. The spirit of the Lord rise among us. That the freedom of the King is Amen. Us. The spirit of the Lord. Yes. Let the Spirit of the Lord rise among us. Freedom of the King rise among us. Let it rise. Let it rise. We're so happy to have everybody home. Don't you feel good to be in the house of the Lord? Where you can praise Him. Where you feel God's presence, yes. feel his love, Praise feel Thank the you, warmth of the church, the yes. friendship, yes. the fellowship, yes. and then in the great cause that is the greatest cause on the, the earth, yes. together in the house of God, yes. my house, Jesus said, shall be called a house of prayer yes. for all people. here and I'm here and we're here and my goodness there's a warm feeling isn't there Amen. 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 the church is not cold no. it's not clammy it's not clandestine it's uh, warm today with the love of God the feeling of the love of God is so prevalent so much here among us and I so appreciate all of you being here my goodness, I, my motorcycle core over here. Praise God. <laughs> How are you two young people? We love you very much. We love you very much. Yes, amen. We're so glad you're here. Yeah, and support homes. our yeah. school the way you do. Yeah. Love this place, and you just come and be at home with us, the both of you. Yes. And then to see Brother Ben home, that's good. Yeah. Happy to have you, Brother Ben. That's my nephew. That's my great nephew. Family of mine. I appreciate him so much. And then to see all of you, every one of you, every one of you, every one of you, every one of you, and back on me. And I'm thrilled to see um, that God has done so much. Look at our look at our generation coming on here. And look at our, and I left the rest of them up in Mississippi. I said, I'm going, going home. Uh, I guess I travel so much anymore. I, I, I checked the airports from Dallas to Charlotte to Memphis, uh, you know, and then Memphis to Charlotte to Tampa. And uh, I left here at 5 o'clock Friday evening and Got up in time to get to Memphis in bed at 11.30 that Friday night, and uh, that is not in Memphis. Drove another 100 miles over to um, Tupelo, Mississippi. And uh, got in bed and slept a little while and went out to Blair uh, for the Harris's assembly, yes. Blair, Mississippi. It's a crossroads in the road. You have to be careful. You'll miss it. Yeah. <laughs> All there is is a sign saying Blair. No stores, no nothing about the city, but it says Blair. And uh, you go through it in a blink and you're gone. Uh, but uh, uh, folks are up there. We've got, a, I don't know, we've got several people up there. I don't know how many is up there. I know, I know uh, Sister Teresa and Brother Van Heidi and family and uh, John and uh, Brother John, Teresa, and, uh, Brother Steve, Sister Leona. They're all up there. We were represented well in this fellowship meeting in Blair, Mississippi, out in the countryside, the old countryside, the cotton fields all around us there in that Delta country. And uh, a good meeting and had uh, several there, Brother Richard Hand, and the dean, and Matthew Jr. And, you know, we've got to give him a little more distinguishing name here. Uh, cornbread, I know you call him that in family, but he's a banker now. He's into banking, huh? Don't walk in that bank and say, hello, Cornbread. He, 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 he's an officer in the bank. 
Yeah. So you want to give him a little more inspection, huh? right, Brother Matthew? And uh, you can still at home uh, use that. You know, you're, you're the father of that program. You have the authority. But uh, no, he was there, and Dean and Hunter, and they all formed a band. But they had a band in Blair yesterday, and uh, made up of Brother Ben Heidi and uh, Brother Hunter and Brother Matthew. And it was good. And uh, Brother Richard Hand was there. They're moving here, Brother Richard yep. Hand yep. and Sister Linda are moving back to the assembly. And they'll be back here as soon as they get a house vacant. They're waiting on a house now to clear up and get vacant. And they're going to be back with us uh, again. Yes, amen. And, uh, Mark and Susie have already made it in the court shop. Yeah, they were in church this morning. And they were there this morning yes, down in the mission. <laughs> Brother John, Sister Teresa made it. It's quite, it's quite a story how they made it, but they made it. Amen. Uh, they went by way of Nashville and across, but uh, uh, Nashville's a long way from Mississippi. But uh, uh, they said the smartphone turned into a dumb phone and uh, led them astray. And then uh, I, I've said that all along. These smartphones will get you in trouble. I, I, re I reluctantly have one. I want to go back to my old flip phone. And my daughter and my wife prevailed on me to get a smartphone, and I've been dumb ever since. I uh, that phone, but uh, I'm used to that little flip phone I had. But uh, anyway, quite a story for them. And uh, <coughs> they made it, and Teresa played and blessing. We tried to do what we could to lift up the church in Blair, and they had a good day. And uh, Brother Bond Reynolds came over from Illinois, and uh, uh, just several there. Uh, and the church in Mantachi, so we made it from there. And it was a great day. Encouraged Brother Harris and Sister Harris there. and. Uh, Deidre and Larry came over from Louisiana and was there. So we had quite a little gathering. Amen. And, and we were thankful for it. Tried to leave them encouraged last night. And I left to, after the service and drove back to Memphis. Got into Memphis about um, 11.30, 11.45. Got in bed for a little while, got up, and went back to the airport. And um, my plane landed at 1 o'clock in Tampa, and I was here on time. <laughs> And travel light had a baggage in my hand, didn't have to go down to the baggage place and get anything. And uh, had my tie on and suit on, ready to come to Bradenton and ready to get in the service. Hallelujah. So thank God for that. Thank God for his traveling mercies and his going with us and helping us. And uh, uh, as we try to encourage the church all over, the church everywhere. And we just want to keep doing that. I, mean, I want to thank God for uh, the, wor the workers here last night. Yes. And the message of Brother Carlson. Yes. Thank yes. you for giving your message last yes. night. Amen. Amen. To the church. appreciate your steadfastness. Yes. And Amen. Brother Wallace over here and his uh, work last night, uh, leading us in those scriptures in the kingdom of God, God and playing and singing. I think you sang. I don't know if you played or not. But. So we were very happy. Home church held up the fort and kept the fires burning. Sister Marlowe hasn't made it back from Boston yet. Um, she's in Boston, her and Mary Ann and Sherry. Uh, this crew piled out and went everywhere from the Smokies on through this week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brother Rose is still wandering around in the Smokies somewhere. Yet, and, and I, yet, I, I hope he'll find his way out of the Smokies and, and get back home with us. And we, on our way out of Mississippi, got back. Sister Marlowe will find her way about midnight out of Boston, get back in tonight. And, it's cold in Boston, she said. Well, we're blessed in warm Florida, aren't we? Sunshine State. Thank God for the land of oranges and cattle and beaches and uh, blue water and all the things we're blessed with in Florida. Good temperature. It's cold in Mississippi. Cold in Boston, she said. We're back home and we want to give the Lord a great day. Don't we, we want to give the Lord a great day, don't we? Right, right, right. We just want to lift him up, don't we? We're here to pray.
praise him, aren't we? We're going to give him the glory. Jesus. 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 Oh, he's wonderful. Quote Isaiah 9 and 6 to warm yourself in that chair. Isaiah 9 and 6 said, For unto us a child is born, a son is given, and his name, and his name shall be called, and the government, I'll part of it up there, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace and of the increase of His government. Peace. There'll be no end. Praise God. Upon the throne of David and upon His kingdom to order it and to establish it with just judgment and justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord and hopes will perform this. Praise God. So we're going to pray right now and believe God, Sister um, Brother Don had to miss the service, not willingly last night, but he um, missed the meeting on account of his mom and had to have her at the emergency room. Sister Willie Langford, let's keep her before God. Let's keep Sister Barbara Hines, with which is Del Hagen, Carol's mother, um, in prayer. She's doing better, I heard, Brother Butch. I heard that. I don't know if that'd be true, but I did she had a better report. So let's keep praying for Sister Barbara, your mom. And I'm glad to see Brother Warren Palazzo here, right here, yeah. out of the hospital. Warren, hold your hand up there. There he is, right there. 91 years of age, on the job, singing and praising God and loving God. I'm so glad to see him. I, I knew the other day they couldn't keep him in the hospital. Praise God, they couldn't do it. And uh, happy to see all of you here. Thank you, Sister Beth. And uh, everybody, if we have any visitors beyond the ones I've mentioned, um, just make yourself at home. Be at home and all the home books be at home. Let's have a great day in the Lord today. And uh, so we, uh, we'll, we'll just do that. Now I got a little thing here for the, um, I believe this is concerning um, things that we do uh, for Christmas. Um, and I, I'm gonna read it, I just got it. And maybe you, if I don't get it right, you can help me with it. Uh, Big box. Is that out in front there somewhere? Or where, where is this? Where is this? I remember one of those. Pardon me? Mm -hmm. Well, I see. Well, yeah. then out. I don't know why uh, this note here is because we can't do it here. Uh, all right. It's going to be here. They're going to bring it here, Brother Marlowe. You're going to bring the box here. Yeah. All right. But when the box does arrive, yeah. I'll announce this ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You see the box out in the foyer? of the church. This is collecting food and toys for ages and infant age up to 10 years of age. It's a Christmas thing that the church is doing and I'm, I'm grateful for your heart of giving, you that are putting this together and um, we that are going to participate. Uh, ages infant to 10, so you'll know kind of what to bring. Canned goods, uh, especially uh, canned hounds, uh, things that they can fix for a Christmas meal, the family, with these children, is what I'm interpreting this as. New items, and uh, uh, they can be used for uh, the baby that would be in the home where it's given, baby items, food, diapers, and other baby goods. Uh, so, all right, we'll get the box here, and we'll... Uh, We'll say more about it, all right? And uh, may the Lord bless you for taking that on your heart and wanting to do that as the church. It's a time, it's a time of giving. So we want to remember it's more blessed to give than to receive, okay? These, you have your bulletins, and I, there may be somebody overlooked in the 
a fair list. I don't think so. I think I got the main one. Uh, but let's just keep praying for those traveling back home today. There's a number on the highway that I mentioned. It was in Mississippi. And, of course, up in Boston, they're coming back home. Pray for traveling mercies on all of these that are out of the service today. And let's remember Brother Don Merriman. I see Cammie. It's good to see Cammie and yeah. Brother Manny here. Yeah. Good to see that chair filled with him on the ground. Yeah, it's good to see that fellow. You, <laughs> hey, don't you leave today till you see me. I've got a special anointing for you. Praise God. Here are pastor's anointings. Amen. That's right. And uh, so you see me uh, leaving before you go. I'm so glad to see you. In place. So let's uh, thank God for that family back on the job. Let's pray for Brother Don Norman and Brother Don Merriman and others as well. And we've got a lot to pray about. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to ask you to collectively join your pastor in prayer. And the way we do it here, we'll let you sit, stand, or come to the altar and pray. Um, but if you, you that can and will and feel that in your spirit, stand with your pastor right now. And let's pray. Let's take the rest of the request to the Lord in prayer, all right? Yeah. Unspoken needs, uh, just take them to the Lord and talk to him. Let's rise up right now in prayer. And join me, elders, and join me, saints, in prayer. Everyone, lift your voice. Let's go to God right now before him and speak to him. In the name of Jesus, we rise up as a church. We rise as a congregation. And we pray in the Holy Spirit. We pray that you will come and continue to walk with us today as you have. Lord, go with us in all of our unction, in all of our manners, in all of our breath, in all of our words, in all of our action, in all of our deeds. Go with us, Lord, and walk with us, Jesus, and we'll be careful as you heal the sick, as you give encouragement to the despondent, as you save the sinner, as you bring the lost home, as you work with us and soften us and tender us in our heart and let the church grow in wisdom, understanding, might and power and the miraculous. Let it be a church of warmth and welcome. Let the power of the Holy Spirit, as we sang today, let it rise. Let it rise in every mind, every heart, every elder, every ministry of this church. Make it a church full of the love of God, reaching for the lost, the undone, and bring the power of the Holy Spirit in. Let the power of the Holy Spirit Come in, Lord. Touch hearts. Heal Tom Culbreth. You are healing him. Lord, you are healing Tom. And we pray for Maria front here, Lord. We pray for Brother Warren to continue to be made strong. Uh, give great miracles to Sister Willie and Sister Barbara, Lord. Uh, be among all of your people on the highway uh, traveling in the air today and bring them all home and bring them back in place and let them be here and feel our missing them and know that we prayed for them. Oh God, your spirit needs to be with our nation today. Would you come to America? Would you, uh, would you touch America? Would you forgive America? Would you help America? Would you forgive us of our sins as a nation? as government, Lord, and let America be blessed of thee from sea to shining sea. And we'll give you the praise, and we'll give you the glory, and we'll give you the honor. And Lord, right now we just lift our hands, and we lift our voices, and we praise the name of the Lord, and we worship you today. Lord, we're going to have a joy festival here. We're going to clap our hands for joy. We're going to shout for joy. We're going to praise you as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the miracle worker and the healer and the deliverer and the baptizer.
in the name of Jesus. Come in, Lord. Even as this congregation bows before you right now. And we thank you for breath and life and strength. And Lord, we give you the glory for just being with us today in every way. And we'll give you the praise. And everyone said, praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, praise the Lord, neighbor. Praise the Lord, neighbor. Just want to say, uh, I'm going to receive the offer, but before we receive the offer, we're not getting the participation that we need for the food uh, distribution for our cup for our upcoming convention. It's not only to feed us, but it's to feed those that come to us that we serve at this convention. So we still need we need several things, but we're still needing more of the uh, commissary cans of green beans and <coughs> corn and also the uh, salad dressing. So if we please, once we get that collected where we feel we have the right amount, then we'll move on to something else. But if, you know, you would please, you know, if like this section could just bring in, you know, corn. If everybody in here, every family would just bring in corn in the number 10 cans and over here, if they would bring in the salad dressing, and then the other one bring in, you know, the green beans, it would certainly help us out. Yes. Then we need to, uh, right now, and if you have a special offer, we need special offerings for this convention. We, we you know, it hurts to uh, dig down in our pockets, but we all must do that. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's part of our service. And uh, so if everybody would, um, you know, if you dig down now, not just for the convention, but for our, our Sunday afternoon um, offering, if you dig down, we'd appreciate it. If you would sing, uh, if the praise team would sing a song, then we'll all give, and we'll all give for the Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God.
appreciation to this wonderful group of musicians. I really do. The praise team. Thank you. I really appreciate all of you. This weekend's a great weekend for you and for the church. Um, I want us to be aware that we're having a great night. Please invite your friends, your neighbors, and people that may have never heard uh, Brother Rativi from Africa. He will be with us Wednesday night, and uh, this man of God preaches, of course, around the world, and my Brother Carlson and I have labored with him in the ministry in many years past, but he's a powerful, powerful speaker, and you will enjoy him, and your friends will enjoy him, and he'll be with us uh, Wednesday night at 7.30. Uh, pastors. Uh, large work in uh, Nairobi, Kenya. We've been there. Uh, several of the elders have been there. And uh, I think they've enlarged that auditorium to around 6,000 people now. Seat 6,000. And um, he's uh, going to be with us Wednesday night. And we want to make God's people welcome, Brother Rativi as well. And we'll enjoy together the blessings of the <laughs> Lord and, and the body of Christ. Um, I'm going to take you into the Bible for a little Bible lesson, and, and I hope it will be a great Bible lesson. I want to minimize the Word of God, and I'm an evangelist in my spirit, and I usually speak from that standpoint, but sometimes I slow down and I take the church through a, a teaching area. Um, as, as I have these many years, I've been here, and I enjoy evangelism, but I also enjoy trying to teach God's Word and letting it go down in the heart of all those that would believe and hear. It began the foundation of my uh, words on this uh, context. Um, the house of God is a wonderful term. The house of God. And... Um, we are the house of God. We happen to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. That makes us the temple of the Holy Spirit. And that makes us the temple of God. And um, there is a scripture, and I think I'll start with this scripture. It's in the Corinthians, the book of Corinthians. And it is um, found, I believe, and I haven't, used the scripture in quite a while, uh, but uh, it's uh, chapter 6, the first book of Corinthians. You Bible students know there's two, but the first book of Corinthians and uh, chapter 6. But go down where Paul is teaching on letting your body be holy, uh, your physical body. Paul is dealing with your physical body that makes up the collective house of God. Our individual bodies, physically, makes up the temple of God collectively. And we'll just take a few verses. We're not going to comment too much on their self-explanatory. Starting uh, with verse 15 of chapter 6 of 1 Corinthians, uh, Paul said, Know you not that your bodies are the members of Christ. Now, the only comment I'll make is as we read this and as you study it, scrutinize it because it localizes where Jesus Christ lives. He lives not in the walls. We could build him a $5 billion building here, natural, physical structure constructed out of building materials, and that would not be his house only when his house is in that house. The church is his house. Your bodies, your physical body, five foot one, six foot two, however it is, Christ lives in you. It doesn't live in that padded pew, no matter how nice it is. doesn't matter. We could build a million dollar building here. He would not occupy the building. It would be considered holy, set 